Welcome to another episode of Transbra. I am your host, Mars, and I'm here with my co-host. Hi, I'm Smartass. And today we're going to talk about uh, relationships, and we're going to go ahead. We're going to just elaborate on what relationships are like for us now after uh, being open transsexuals, as far as uh, not just romantic relationships, but we'll just talk about the dynamics of all kinds of relationships, like family, friends, or or romantic. Um, Do you want to start this one or... Um, I mean, I guess I'll start. Um, I notice, um, every, pretty much every, um, dynamic in my family changed. Like, um, for example, my dad doesn't give me hugs anymore now that I'm his son. And, uh, I noticed my, uh, Whenever I first came out, he started taking me to go shoot guns. He never would have done that uh, otherwise. Um, and also, uh, it's like that with my uncles and stuff. Like, they just shake your hand instead of giving you a hug now. Yeah. And um, also, they. I mean, it's pretty much the same with the women, uh, except I try to, my family, you know, unrealize, without realizing it, they kind of separate by gender, just yeah. naturally, you know, mm-hmm. and it's, it's kind of weird for me, just because I don't really have anything to add to what um, the women are saying, and the thing about the men in my family is that they're all from Louisiana, so they're all country people, and I am very much a city person. Yeah. So, like, I don't really care to talk about hunting or your big old truck or whatever. Uh, so I don't really have much to add uh, with them either. So it's just kind of awkward for me trying yeah. to kind of fit in to my family. Yeah, I, um, uh, yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, I don't, well, like, for example, just in general, like, if I'm sitting, just as an example, if I'm sitting out uh, with a group of guys, and let's say they're talking about football, like, I personally don't really give, care about football. So then it feels awkward, because I'm just like, damn it, you know? Um, uh, Yeah, I don't know. It's a different dynamic, like, you know, um, but do you have like sib- like siblings or nephews or anything like that where things have like changed? Um, I have two siblings. I have an older brother and I have an older sister. Um, I don't think things really changed between me and my older sister. Um, cause, and me and my older brother never really had a relationship, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, but now I think we're like, or at least I'm trying to like form one. Like the past couple of years for Christmas, I've been getting them like these uh, books. Like this year, I got them two business books. Yeah. And he got me like this um, one uh about diet and stuff so like i think that's a better than what it was before right um yeah cuz and- so so basically like with your brother nothing nothing changed dramatically it's basically the same and with your sisters yeah it's like i guess you know since they're girls like, are the do the jokes change or anything like that? Like, do you feel like you know there's certain things you no longer can joke about or talk about? Um. Well, my sister is not very much of a jokester. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think we have the same sense of humor, so. Gotcha. Uh, I don't really joke around with her. No. And. Yeah, like. 
I don't know. Like, I have a very dry sense of humor, so, like, whenever I do joke with her, it's usually me making fun of her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I don't know, like, with my family, like, this goes, it's just, you know, I don't know. I know it's different because it it feels different. I don't know if you can relate to that. Like, uh, I try not to think about it a lot, but I I sense that it's different, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. I know that, you know, they don't love me any less. Like, I know that, but I feel like there's just this, like, undying, awkward, like, vibe that will never go away now or something. Or maybe it will, you know, because I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm only coming up on five months on, on being a testosterone, so maybe it will. But, like, right now, personally, like, the way it, it seems is, like, like, there's always just going to – and I, I think this goes back to actually, um you know, the, the reason that you're trans uh, – or not the reason that you're trans. <laughs> Lack of sleep is, is being – becoming a parent right now but uh the reason that you went stealth right you one or one of the reasons is that you said you know um people see you differently when they know you're trans right yeah and so i feel like uh like i i don't know i don't always understand what you mean by that but in, in the case with like my family like i completely understand it what you mean by that um because with them i definitely do feel like I don't know if it's they see me differently or, you know what I mean? But I know it's just there. I don't know how to put it into words, but, like, we... I guess they yeah. don't know how they're supposed to see you now. Yeah, it, I, and and again, like, like, one of the things, like, with my family, or with at least 50% of my family, and, I mean, there's really only, like, five of us total, including me, so it's not like it's a massive family, but... Like, for the most part, they're always, as far as I can tell so far, they're always going to use my <laughs> my birth name. And partially, part of that is probably because they just will. And the other part of it could be that, like, I've never told them that I've legally changed my name yet. And I, I honestly, well, my brother and sister know, but, like, I haven't told my parents that. And I probably should, but it's, like, one of those things where, like, I, I feel like it doesn't matter. like. They're still going to use my birth name. And so why even bring it up? Uh, you know, uh, but it's like, those are the kind of things that like, I, I feel like I'm always just going to deal with. Like, they're always going to use my old name, whether I tell them I change my name legally or not. I feel like they just are, you know, uh, they're always going to use like she, her pronouns. And I would never like personally me, I would never like, go up to my mom and be like, use here, him, because I just don't think that's going to get me anywhere for one, two. I just feel like for them, it's just, I don't know. It's just, they don't, they don't know how to deal with it. They don't get it. Um, and I almost feel like they have this image of, at least in my instance, I feel like they have this image of, you know, who I was, you know, or, and they, that can't be erased from them. You know, like they're always going to see, you know, well, that, yeah. and it's a decades-long habit. Right, yeah, and then it doesn't help the fact that, you know, which again goes back to, well, when's the right time to, to transition? I mean, well, I'm 36. Maybe it would have been easier, and they could have dealt with it differently if I had transitioned at, like, 18. But, like, I'm 36. That's a long time to already be viewed as, you know, a a girl and using the same pronouns. And so I feel like, in my case, too, like, it makes it even that much almost impossible for them to just you know like adapt right um so yeah but i don't know with my i mean i mean i mean what happened with me is that the more i passed the more they found them yeah I, the, the more they actually started trying yeah the other thing is because, you see your family because i think they realize you see your family often because i think um, I see them mostly for holidays. Uh, not much else. I I guess you could say maybe every couple months or gotcha. so. But you, they've already. But I guess my point is like they've already seen your physical change in person. 
Yeah. yeah. See, my family hasn't, and I, I wonder if that makes a difference at all. You know, like they don't. I think it does yeah. because, like, because, like, at first, uh, you know, they don't want to, and then, you know, they realize, you know, I have uh, facial hair now yeah. and a deep voice, and they, I think, they realize, wait a minute, if I still call uh, him you know, what's, right. what's, um, that's going to be, that's going to look awkward. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, my parents live in a different state and I haven't, I haven't seen them since last summer and last summer I hadn't started until September. So the only thing they saw was a picture that I, <laughs> I, I sent them like, I think last December, uh, which again was just <laughs> like, I, I, I just sent him a picture of me and um, I don't even think I, I think I might have said like, oh, yeah, like this is how I'm looking these days or something super cheesy. <laughs> and uh, I think my mom just gave me like a thumbs up or something because it's like they don't know what to say. You know, it's like it, it's just I don't know. It's just weird. And like I know maybe some people listening are like probably thinking, well, your whole family is super transphobic, but it, it's not like that. And that's not the vibe I get. You know, I know that they don't hate me or anything like that. They love me regardless. I just feel like, especially with old school, like conservative parents, especially Hispanic, like they just, they, they don't really know how to deal with that. Like, it's just weird. And, and then I'm, I think a lot. And so I feel like I make the relationship even weirder, you know, by calling less than I used to. Um, it's just, I don't know. It just feels awkward. And sometimes when I'm talking to them on the phone, I'm thinking, I wonder if they're thinking, like about anything like I get in my head you know what I'm saying and then like and so it becomes more of a me just tripping out you know uh, does that happen to you like that's just I don't know if it's just me like I get all super self-conscious well um whenever I first started testosterone it was like whenever I was two or three months or something and my mom called me and I th that's whenever she noticed the voice change because she said, do you have a cold or something? And I was, and I said, no, mom, remember <laughs> I started taking hormones and she was like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, that was kind of her, um, like you know, noticing. just realizing, Oh, this, this stuff yeah. works, I guess. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> Cause the same thing happened with my family. Like I didn't, like I had told them that I think it was for Thanksgiving. They called me and it was like, except I didn't react like you did. Like obviously like you have bigger balls than I do, but like I was on a, like a group uh, uh, voice chat, like my sister and my mom and my nephews, they all called me on like, you know, wow, I can't think today. Uh, speaker, a uh, speaker call. Right. And they called me and it was like three months into testosterone. So my voice had dropped a little bit. And they were both like, oh, are you sick? And I'm, I, I, didn't, I don't even think I responded. I think I just said, uh, no, you know, something like that. And, uh, and then I text them, oh, hey, by the way, just it seems like you guys forgot, but I actually did go through and began my transition. And, you know, my sister was just like, she responded and she was just friendly about it. She was like, well, wow. Like I didn't realize it would, the change would happen that fast. And, uh, but again, like a lot of it, you know, is me being awkward. I could have just said, oh yeah, like remember, you know, like you did, but it's just, I don't know. I just, I, I get, I get in my head too much uh, instead of just like chilling out, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah. I mean, otherwise, like, that's one thing I will say, like, I feel like, uh, you know, the way I view the, our, my relationship, my family, I feel like it's it's changed a little bit. It's, it, it's weird. But then again, I, I feel like, you know, how much of that is, is me and maybe everything is fine. And it's just me being stupid. You know what I mean? Um, like my brother and I, we just, we still play Xbox and that's pretty normal. Um, nothing changed there. So, um, but I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of it is just, you know, how you approach your family and, you know, how you act around them. Like, I don't think, I don't know. I like to believe that most families generally will adapt to some extent, you know? They do. Um, I know, I know there's no way my dad like really 
has wrapped his yeah. hair around it. Like, there's just no way. Uh, but, you know, he's a religious person, and he said God was in my therapist's office whenever I was coming yeah. out, and he was, you know, processing all this. And so he said he had an encounter with God that uh, made him, you know, say, I mean, you know, this is going to be all right. Meanwhile, meanwhile, my mom yeah. was, you know, crying because yeah. she was losing her kid, she felt like. But, I mean, after after I started testosterone and, you know, I think they realized I wasn't changing as a person – you know, like my personality, uh, they yeah. were more. And that's okay why I think, like, my mom t take took it way more harder than my dad. Like my dad, I mean, he just had he had questions and stuff, but he didn't have that many questions. And, and like, well, like for example, this is like how clueless my parents are, and it's just one of those conversations that, like, I, I per like, ha did you ever sit down and have like a, a talk with your parents about? like what trans is and or anything or, or like did it go beyond just coming out basically um i came out in uh my therapist's office so okay. that way he can help oh, me okay. answer so all their questions because like i would i knew yeah. i would be overwhelmed and just scared shitless so, so you were in the therapy with your mom and dad and, and that talk. any questions they had, it was kind of like you were guided with your therapy. Okay. Yeah. Well, fair enough. My I mean, that's not a, not a bad idea. Yeah. My case wasn't like that. Like, yeah, I came out over the phone, uh, to my mom and then I, you know, figure she told my dad and that was pretty much it. But like, like my parents aren't like comfortable with that topic. And they won't like just randomly, for the most part, they won't randomly ask me stuff. Like, I don't know if your parents are super comfortable with you being trans and will ever approach you with to, like, like any questions like personal about, you know what I mean? Uh, my dad, probably not. But um, my mom is like, now my mom loves like watching everything with, you know, something trans in it like she loves like she loves to talk to me about <laughs> that's kind of i funny. am jazz now and uh and yeah she just uh like anytime like on one of her shows like say on the voice yeah. for example i think it was the voice or america's got talent one of those uh a trans guy uh revealed that he was trans and told his story and um you know as soon as that gotcha. happens she calls me well, at least at least she makes an, an effort and kind of tries seems like she's adapted pretty good yeah but four years into it um like i had just told her about um what yeah. the surgeries are for you know f to m because that was a topic right. of I am jazz lately because jazz got her surgery. And uh, I had to explain to her, like, it's yeah. very invasive and expensive. And uh, I probably yeah. well, won't get it anytime <laughs> like, soon. It's kind of funny because, like, one of the things, like, when I came out to my mom, for example, she went straight to, uh, for some reason, well, both of my parents actually – I don't know if your parents did, but both of my parents, but then again, I guess this is the case for a lot of people in general. When you tell them that like you're, you know, you're a trans guy or whatever, they always go to, you know, your downstairs area and they ask questions about that or they assume, you know, the stuff. And uh, yeah, like that's one thing I thought was kind of interesting. Uh, well, it's funny now looking back, but at the time it was a little awkward, but like my mom, for example, like she had brought up, like that was literally like I came out and one of the first things she said was uh, all of this in Spanish, which was even more awkward and intense. But she said like something along the lines of, oh, so you want you want to have like a dick. And uh, 
And I was just, it was super awkward because like I just came out like, what do I even say to that? I mean, <laughs> you know, and uh, and then like my dad, my dad on another note, we were at the grocery store once and he just randomly, this is in public at a grocery store. And he didn't do that to, <laughs> he didn't do it to embarrass myself. Like if you ever, if you ever <laughs> meet my dad, like he's just, he's awkward like that. Like he doesn't like, doesn't get like how social stuff sometimes like <laughs> it was, he's just an awkward guy. And so I don't even think he didn't do it on purpose, but like he were, we're in the grocery store and he's just like, he gets kind of close to me. He's like, so, you know, when you grow older, uh, you'll have like, you know, issues with your penis and stuff. And I'm like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> he just starts talking to me about like, you know, when men age and their penis. And I'm just like, okay. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, super weird you know uh before that he we had never talked about anything trans and so i guess like the assumption <laughs> is you know for most people and you know maybe parents too is like the, i don't know it's just interesting how like everybody always goes to that area like you know like my mom just kind of assumed that i was going to get surgery right away and my dad was i guess talking to me like i already had a dick and i'm just <laughs> kind of weird but uh but yeah you know like it's just it's it's so odd because I feel like the topic, uh, you know, just being trans in general can be awkward for some people. But yeah, for somebody for some reason, like, you know, just asking questions about like, you know, penis or vagina, like that's just so, you know, like for some reason, people find comfort in just asking that stuff, which I always find comical. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I remember. I guess you could say I kind of came out to my mom one time because um, we were watching a show called Our America with Lisa Ling or something like that. And and uh, the episode was transgender children, children. And, uh, you know, at by the end of it, my mom asked me, do you want to be a boy? And I said, yes. And. She goes, so you want a penis? And <laughs> yeah. like, I yeah. didn't I guess know like, what to say to that. That would be the, the ultimate, maybe that's the ultimate, that doesn't make sense. I was going to say that's the ultimate proof, but I feel like that sounds really weird. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to say like, I feel like, you know, until you really, until you actually want, yeah. have, until you embrace the idea of having a penis, I feel like maybe they don't take you as serious. But if you say yes, then they're like, oh, well, shit then he must be really serious <laughs> like uh but but yeah, yeah i mean that's that's my uh, relationship with my parents i feel like and yeah that yeah that explains it because um a year later was whenever i came out to my parents in my therapist's office and like they still my mom still seemed shocked despite having that conversation yeah. after that well, like, documentary what do you mean shock though? like shock that shock that i came out and despite, despite uh, showing signs because like i remember earlier you know you had mentioned like it was pretty obvious yeah 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 because uh i I never played with girl toys at all, like at all. Yeah. Like if you tried to get me to do it, it wouldn't happen. And uh, I also asked whenever yeah. I was 13, when my mom gave me the birds and the bees talk, I God. I asked my mom when my <laughs> yeah. body was going to start producing uh, semen. To anybody <laughs> that is listening and maybe questioning, it's not to say that if you don't play with a Barbie – that's a clear sign that you're trans or whatever. Like it's, it goes beyond that, but you're just pointing that out. Cause those, that's just little things that add up basically. Right. So, yeah. Um, yeah. What was basically. I going to say, uh, uh, yeah. Like, I, I mean, I don't know if you have nephews, but like, I have like five, I can't like four to five nephews by now. And, uh, like one thing is like, see that I haven't really talked to them about this and you know i kind of like like i had told my sister like uh you know tell the kids whatever you want <laughs> like like i really kind of steered out of that because I, I really don't want to take on that responsibility uh, but again i know kids kids adapt fast so it's not a big deal but 
like that's one thing where like I haven't seen them in person. So, uh, you know, I feel like when I next time I see my family in person, um, which I hope I'm going to try maybe end of this year or beginning next year, like I'll have like, you know, full beard and I'll look totally different, um, which it, it just makes me nervous just thinking about it, uh, you know. So, so um, one way yeah. I heard it explained that you can explain to kids is that, you know, I wasn't, is that I, I wasn't, I was sad being a girl and didn't feel good and I wanted to be a boy. So the doctor gave me medicine yeah, to be a enough. boy. So Except now I don't want to give them the better. idea that, I, that you can... I don't know. I guess I don't want to give them the idea, the impression that, oh, you could just be a girl or a boy if you want to. Um, well, I mean, I know it's a little more complicated, but you can you can get yeah. more complicated once they get the birds and the bees talk or something. But I mean, for but I mean, for bite now, like snippet. you just need a bite size uh, and yeah. snip it. You're you're good. Well, I don't know how I'm just to describe. You're, you're doing better to, said, today than me. So. I'm freaking sleep deprived, but uh, but yeah, it it's probably easier than I just stress over things in my head. But I'm sure it's like way easier than I'm painting it out to be. Um, but uh, I don't know. That's that's pretty much it regarding family relationships. Unless you have anything else to add on it, we can uh, shift over to like friendships. Okay, so. Uh, I mean, I feel like regarding uh, friendships, it's going to be, I don't, I don't have a lot to say on that. Cause I don't have like, I've lost a lot of friends of anything. <laughs> so, so, and, and, and it's not regard in regards to like being a transsexual at all. Like just, I have a few close friends that I've kept for a long time. Um, so probably like if I counted on my hand, I'd probably have like five friends that I definitely consider friends. And then. Uh, that's about it. But like, I've personally, you know, uh, I don't want to get into this topic, but regarding politics, uh, I lost a lot of friends and yeah. So it's hard to say like the, the friends that I call friends today, like they don't treat me any differently. Um, I feel like just conversation wise, uh, this just goes back to like, there are certain things that I won't talk to a girl about anymore or say around a girl, um, or try not to, at least, depending on her sense of humor. Yeah, same here. Because, like, you know, since my sense of humor is dry, like, it's hard right. to know if she'll, <laughs> yeah, like, actually exactly. laugh or, like, Yeah, then you don't want to be, like, you know, come off as, like, some creepy dude or douchebag or whatever. So, like, yeah, I'm... <laughs> I steer away from saying certain jokes around certain people unless I for sure know. Cause like when I joke, it's typically pretty offensive and inappropriate. Like, cause that's what makes me laugh. So, so yeah. Um, but I think like, like in regards to like friendships and just that topic in general though, like I, I will say this, like I haven't, I don't know if maybe you have something else to offer, but like I haven't yet. I have, sorry, I have yet to, um, I guess, like, a bond with a dude enough to say, hey, you want to go grab a beer? Haven't done that yet. Um, and, yeah, so, you know, I, I, I don't know. I feel like that would be different than, like, my friends before that, like, or the way I used to hang out with certain, I don't know, does that make sense? Like, I don't know, like, if you've, yeah. I think it makes sense. Like, um, I didn't, like you said, I haven't really lost any friends, um, over being trans. Like, it's more politics yeah, 2019 is, anyway. is what makes it hard to maintain friendships. Yes. Yeah. But I you're mean, not super conservative, though. Like, closet I conservative. Feel like... <laughs> I 
I'm not, but I'm conservative enough to where True, people but, who went to but how easy is it for I'm anybody to think right, you're, so. you're you know a conservative or alt right or anything just by being kind of rational and you know or neutral about certain topics like it's very easy to be branded as that even when you're not so and i'm yeah and I'm saying this in case he's yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just saying that know, in case anybody's listening, they're obviously they're like, I'm not uh, thinking that we're just like extremist or over here or something, but we're not. Uh, I think we both fall on being under the conservative label, probably though. But yeah, yeah, because like the reason uh, they called me alt right was because. I said I was libertarian, and they said uh, they knew a Ku Klux Klan group that was libertarian, which I don't believe because if you actually uh, watch Richard, Spencer I don't really interview, watch him because I really he sounds like I just a fucking Bernie guy. supporter. I feel like he's such a he's such a d bag. So I just I don't know. I haven't watched. Well, I was just. Well, I was just uh, curious as to what gotcha. actually constitutes someone as alt right, so I watched it, and uh, <laughs> we'll let's have to just say check out he's a, a definitely of not just libertarian because <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. But uh, but yeah, uh, I don't know. Is that is that pretty much everything regarding like uh, h how have your friendships changed after you came out as trans? Um, they haven't really. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I would say probably the same. Yeah, they haven't um, really. Yeah. And then I I don't know, I definitely I'm definitely looking for I know it's gonna sound kind of corny, but I am definitely kind of looking forward to like just like hanging out with a another guy <laughs> and just grabbing a beer and talking shit. Uh I, I'm I, I I feel like a geek saying that, but like I looking I look forward to just like being able to just do that, you know, like I don't know, because um, I definitely like. I, I don't. I feel Me too. Uh, way more comfortable around just guys in general. And I, one thing I will say, like, or that I, I mean, like, I know, like, a lot of, or from what I see, they're definitely like. Uh, I would say a good amount of, you know, trans men. It seems like they hang out with like a lot of other trans men or LGBT in general. And like, I personally don't. I don't care about that. I mean, I don't care at all. Like, it's just more of the vibe. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if if we can get along and have the same jokes, it doesn't matter to me. I don't feel any more, like, and I know why a lot of, like, trans guys or, or women do that is because they feel more safe or something. But personally, me, like, I feel like uh, I it, it goes by person by person. You know, I don't care if it's somebody that's LGBT or not. As long as we get along, uh, you know, I feel like, I don't, I don't need this extra, uh, safe space just because you're, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I, th I think, um, well, I, I mean, I don't think it has to do with necessarily safety as it has to do with just, um, I think they think that if they're all, if the other person is also LGBT or a woman or, you know, whatever. Uh, the group is right. like then Which there's I get a higher that, yeah. chance that they'll right. get along. True. At yeah, least, and for sure, because like I mean, it's always been like that. Like, <laughs> if anybody ever thought I was LGBT and they were LGBT, there, I'm, I'm not gonna say everybody, but uh, like a lot, I do, I have noticed in the past, like a lot of people, when when they think that you're LGBT and they are, they seem to th to to feel like you guys are gonna connect and be friends um which I, I get it comes from a place of kindness i guess but personally for me like i've just never been like that i, I don't care if you're lgbt but like if you're if you're a cool person and we get along great but like if you suck and you're lgbt that doesn't mean i have to also be nice to you and be friends like i've never understood that uh which happens a lot you know uh or at least to me it has Yeah, especially for someone, for people like us who are LGBT and like, 
not right. exactly so like other LGBT one thing i will people, say regarding just like politics. that kind of that topic is i won't miss that <laughs> like before like you know obviously uh presenting a little bit more female or whatever you're viewed as or at least i was viewed as like you know a lesbian and i don't I, i'm not gonna miss like being spotted by like another lesbian uh, and you know thinking that we're just gonna hit it off and be friends or or just in general like you know just i i personally don't care to wear a shirt that says this is what trans looks like and you know connect with other trans people out there like i just want to blend in and just fucking live life you know what i mean like i i just don't care about all that um at all so i don't know in that aspect yes. i will definitely say like stealth sounds great but um but yeah yes, exactly. that's pretty much it for friendships i mean i i don't i feel like we're both like have the same amount of stuff to share on on friendships so i don't uh i don't know if you want me to open the door on like how relationships has changed yeah, uh, romantically or dating wise, or you want to start with the. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I'll start with it because I don't have a whole lot of experience to share. Um, I, I just know like as a lesbian, it was way easier to find a partner, like way easier. And, now it's like now that you're trans and it just is hard to know like who exactly will date you like i don't think at this point in time a lesbian yeah. would be interested in me just because i don't look like a woman anymore even though uh even though you know you i know there are some lesbians who will date True. trans men even those who have been on testosterone and such but um like but that but at that point you don't know yeah. where those are <laughs> true like, they don't but at that point it. I, they I don't, don't have a sign around, around their neck saying like that no they trans like, men <laughs> pansexual or Pan. bisexual or something like well people well uh women who yeah like women and trans men are i guess exceptions um, so, uh, and I don't know, apparently there are some bisexual people I've noticed that also don't take trans yeah. people, which really don't understand, but it's not my place. But, um, and then obviously, you right. know, straight women, uh, yeah, I... they're hit or miss as well. So so yeah it's just hard to know who's gonna date me and uh with being a lesbian it was just a lot easier i could date a bisexual or a gay yeah girl but i think a lot of it it's is like, just like who the fuck is even uh, willing to this is my opinion anyway but i feel like a lot of it comes from a place of people do have preferences um you know and then also people just don't know what that's like and you know what I mean? Like, they just don't know, like, and I feel like they have this weird concept of what being with a trans guy would be like. And so, like, it, I don't know. I've, I personally think that some people are just intimidated and, and weirded out by it and they don't know. I mean, I'm sure that's uh, a possibility and I know people have yeah. preferences. I'm not like, you know. Right, yeah holding that against them i will say I'm this that, kind of venting like, you know like, how shit's like, difficult <laughs> for trans guys uh it is you know like trans women sometimes they complain about how like they're they're a fetish to some men you know some men just want to sleep with them and they won't date them they're like a fetish and i know i know there are some men that are just into that as like you know for sexual reasons it doesn't seem to be the case for trans men unless i'm completely unaware like i don't think that as far as I've seen, I don't think there are women out there that look at us trans guys as like some sexual fantasy that they just want to, you know. Yeah, I mean, my, I mean, in my experience, uh, it's like mostly men, just obviously, I guess. men who fetishize us. 
Um, straight men. Oh, okay. No support. That's odd. Quote unquote. But, yeah, straight I don't know. Men. I don't really. I don't know. I'm not really single, so I don't really know about all yeah. that that much. All, all, all I know is that, like, I think I told you this before, maybe, but or, or not. But I did go uh, on a dating website once, just um, to experiment um, and message a bunch of people if they would date a trans guy or not. And I mean, uh, it, uh, honestly, most of them just seemed curious and willing, just not sure of what that's like. Uh, I'm not saying that, that obviously that survey of let's say 20 people is accurate and speaks for the whole planet but like it definitely you know being in a conservative primarily conservative area that that just tells me that people are probably more open-minded about it than we give them credit for in my opinion i mean you're probably right it's uh just I haven't had luck on dating websites and um I don't really know yeah. where to right. meet well, people so uh I don't get out I of definitely a lot. <laughs> think seems like pansexual people um, are like but uh, although I hate that I don't I don't really like labels in general but I, I especially don't like how pansexual sounds it just sounds really dumb to me <laughs> Uh, but yeah, apparently, uh, for the most part, for what I I see, someone that is pansexual is definitely open to obviously dating, just you know anybody based on their who they are versus anything else. But yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I guess I just I, don't um, know many pansexual I mean, women. I, well, I haven't really. Obviously, I haven't really dated because I've been in a relationship. But, um, like I, I, when I met my girlfriend, who I met online on a dating website, like at the time, I mean, I didn't know that I, I had, I didn't tell her I was trans because I didn't know. Um, but you know, like when we finally met in person, but she was always pretty, um, and and I, I mean, she's always been like bisexual. Or, you know, she had dated guys and had dated women. So I don't think it's super shocking that she embraced the idea of me being a trans guy um, because of that. But, like, our relationship didn't really change at all. In my opinion, I think it got better because obviously now I'm way more comfortable being myself. And, you know, like, our relationship got better in, in my opinion. But, like, um, she 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 wasn't surprised that i was trans like she uh, this is according to her like when she first met me she just felt like my i was just different from any other you know woman that she had been with like it was not the same at all um and so like she always was curious if there was something going on with me um uh, so it wasn't shocking you know when i came out to her it was just kind of like oh okay that makes sense and uh yeah i mean nothing really changed with us that, that much so um but i haven't I haven't dated at all so I, I don't really have anything to offer with that um yeah i mean it's it's just weird because um my girlfriend who i bought to you know my first testosterone appointment uh she came with me and you know a couple weeks yeah. later that's whenever she broke up with me so and i haven't had a girlfriend since so it's just weird because like she's she was scared of what testosterone would do or something and it's just so like i don't know if that if that would mean she broke up with me because I was trans or the because expectations of that she hormones, built up in her head, maybe like know, she freaked out. Weird. Maybe, but she knew I was trans and wanting yeah, to start hormones. Like I know like met, my so. uh, previous girlfriend, my ex now, um, like I, like I, I remember once and I don't even know I was trans and I don't remember, I don't know why I even asked her this, but 
I remember asking her once, like, if she would still date me if I if I was trans, if you know, if I changed physically. And I remember she had said, like, yeah, like, you know, she would still be with me because, you know, she cared about me and stuff. And so I I don't know. I almost feel like uh, I mean, I could be wrong, but I almost feel like maybe c- could be that. It, I don't know. For trans guys, at least, I feel like it might be easier if you're in a relationship and then you come out um, then you know what I'm saying? But I could be wrong, though. I'm just kind of talking. Like it seems like it, it's easier for people to adapt when they're already with you. They know who you are. They see that you're a decent human and it's easier for them to adapt versus they don't know who you are. They don't know anything about trans. And now you're hitting them up on our website and you want to date them. They, if they freak out, like, I don't know. I just feel. Yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. it's, uh, maybe it's easier I mean, for I mean, those of us who, as date far as women. like, fi- like, being able to get a woman or yeah um both like at adapting to a new uh physical yeah partner I, mean, I think and women are, they're just getting a new partner uh i i'm wondering if it's easier for women because like i've heard horror stories from uh yeah because i think a lot of it has to do with like you know women are date men there's not like you know a lot of stigma there like for women for men it's like you know they start questioning like their sexuality you know what i mean like and and then they get paranoid like okay well i'm with a trans woman um that means like what am i gay and stuff like they start going so far and i don't know but I mean, you know, yeah. going back to like our conversation with, I think it was it Tranamy. I mean, she seemed to think that, I think she said, she has said that it wasn't very difficult for her to date someone. It was just her circumstances right now. So I feel like it varies uh, person to person. I, I don't know. Like personally me, like, yeah. I, like if I was single, I definitely feel like I would go online mostly and just use a dating app because i feel like that's easier it's easier to explain if i need to on there instead of like like i personally like uh i just i'm curious to know though i may never because i'm (laughs) not single but i'm curious to know what it would be like to just meet a, a girl at a bar what that would be like but then it's like if you're trans you know like how you know what i mean like how do how would that conversation go you know what after 10 minutes then you tell them you know what i mean um especially if you're just trying to hook up well I, obviously that's going to be out of the question if you don't say something <laughs> yeah. right away um uh but yeah and i mean personally i don't know i don't feel comfortable lying with yeah. somebody like i'm sure that there's probably some trans guys that that don't say anything i mean you know yeah or not even post op dude like some of the uh like yeah, some of these, these uh, packers, these prosthetic, you know, packers that trans do, that some of us pack with, like, they're pretty realistic, you know. And if it's dark and you're going out with a girl after a bar and you guys had a few drinks, I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, she might not know the difference. Like, uh, I mean, how much of that happens? I, I don't know. I guess I don't she won't know the difference. That, I don't <laughs> think that's cool. Like, I wouldn't... <laughs> say to that but um but it just becomes awkward it's that it's telling them which i feel like sucks so like i mean i i wouldn't know i don't know if you're better off like putting it on on a dating app or not like because i've heard two different things i've heard some sometimes people just don't say that they're trans talk to somebody on a dating app and then after maybe two three days of talking then tell them because at that point they you've established some kind of a, a bond or whatever and they might be more likely to you know i feel like i might i might have done that instead because maybe yeah. that makes sense you know i don't know but uh but yeah uh i think uh we have smashed this yeah. topic <laughs> unless you have anything to add
All right. Yeah, I guess I don't know. Bottom uh, line is no. Uh, I, I feel like relationships. I don't think I do. <laughs> in general, friendships or family or whatever. I feel like all relationships can be difficult, and I definitely think like no matter if you're trans or not. Like I, my perspective is, if you're just straight up honest with somebody, the relationship will go smoother. Um, so I mean, in that aspect, I feel like you know, as long as you're honest, whether you're trans or not, I feel like it it makes things easier you know, overall, unless, unless your family is actually like anti-trans in that case, you know, that's different, <laughs> which I feel like, you know, that's, that's like another thing that I yeah. feel like is an issue is like, what is transphobia and what isn't, you know, like, for example, like if, if I had come out earlier to my family, they probably would have never wanted to put me on hormones at like the age of 16 or something. Okay. Well, that mean that, yeah. So, but yeah, but like the, so I don't think the solution is to call them transphobic and leave oh, my God, house or no. anything like that. Or, know. you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just feel like a lot of these, these parents or friends or someone you date. Yeah. I, I mean, I know that there are some people that are definitely like just against tra trans people, but I feel like, and maybe this is me trying to see the good in people, but I really do feel like a lot of people just, they're clueless about what, <laughs> what we are. We're like, unicorns to them or something you know what i'm saying but but yeah um uh, so yeah we'll be back uh next yeah. thursday or friday uh with another episode um until then thanks for tuning in until next time peace